course is uh, a BA Sports Business and Entrepreneurship degree. We're based at Bristol City Football Club. We are Bristol City Robins Foundation that run the course, but we're attached to the University of the West of England who accredits the programme. So the course itself is really different. Students learn by doing. Students come in and try and set up businesses and work with real life projects and ventures to, to, to apply theory to actual practical application. It's not a degree where students sit in a lecture theatre and kind of be told what to do, when to do and how to do it. And there's real autonomy for students who, who, who come onto our programme. Student intakes differed over the, over the course of the programme's duration. So for the first three years, we only had about 15 students um, every year. So it is a very small programme. For the last two years, we've had 35, 40 students come in each year. So at the moment, we're about 80 students uh, on the programme, but I can see over the next couple of years that we'll be at a capacity of about 100, 110, 120 students. And it's important for me to that's the maximum that we can hold because it was important in terms of the quality of the provision and the, the opportunities that we can give to these students. We can't do that with hundreds and hundreds of students. As the programme's developed, obviously as practitioners and as kind of educators, you get a sense and feel of what the students want. And we've learned that students really want practical learning opportunities. So as coaches and as mentors and as module leaders, we've really tried to link with industry and linked both internally within our sporting groups of Bristol City Football Club, Bristol Bears, Bristol Flyers, Bristol Sport as a business, as well as externally in the community, we've linked with Yo Valley, Thatchers, etc., to provide real life business opportunities for these students. I think that's the key thing that they want. They, they love that real application. So it's really, it's really cool when alumni basically come back. Um, we really try and keep an active alumni network. I think our programme is really weird and wacky and different. So when students come in at 18 years old, they've kind of had it instilled into them that the only form of education they've ever known is to be sat down and to, to be talked at by someone in terms of that's the only way you learn. And it's really powerful for, even for year twos and threes, but especially alumni to come back into the programme and speak to our TEs, our students, about you know, how it felt when they were in those shoes, but actually how you know, their feelings will progress and their mindset will develop over the course of the programme. I think what's really important for, to us is internationalisation um, and this methodology and this, uh, this, this programme exists across Europe. Um, so we really try and link up our Bristol students with students based in Barcelona or students based in Switzerland or Finland um, and in terms of how can those students you know, join forces and what projects can they develop across country. So there's, there's massive learning opportunities in, in you know, all walks of, of the program, program activities. There's two, it's the balance. It's the balance between an academic undergrad or master's degree program in terms of the, the academic content and the rigour of the support from the programme staff. But the other side of it is the, the industry experience, the practical real life learning and application. And I think that it's really important that a degree holds both of those things. We all know programmes and as we've spoken today, I think my programme is, is higher on the you know, practical application and other degree programmes are, are higher on the, the academic side. It's important that a programme holds both of those things and that students are getting real life application within industry. And in terms of graduation and employability skills, they need to know how to work in a team, how to problem solve, give instruction and listen to instruction. So just working for a business, having some practical application is, is really important. Students coming into the programme and wanting to see success straight away. That doesn't happen, that's not realistic. Alan Sugar didn't become a billionaire overnight. And linked with that is then the students coming onto the programme and engaging with a completely different methodology and way of learning. So, so that, I think, those two things of students wanting quick success overnight in, an, in a methodology that's really weird and different and you know, not natural to them is definitely kind of you know, a challenging start to the, to the programme. It's really important that conversations like, like this are had so that the, the provision for students is, is improved. Um, 
being honest, I don't think it's, hap it's happening enough, which is why events like this are fantastic, to bring people together, to have these conversations with like-minded people in the room and create links for universities um, and for, importantly, those students that are on those university programmes.